What's good y'all? Happy Friday. Today's March 15th. We are in sunny San Juan Capistrano today next to some cactuses. Cacti. Cacti. The well, people down here are angry. Everybody's like honking at each other. I know. Beefing. This guy's trying and to And he got stuck point. behind him anyways. I know. Why didn't he just go in the other lane and go around him? I see Heritage. We are going to try and check out Heritage Barbecue. It's about 4 o'clock right now. Apparently this place sells out. So I hope they got some stuff. If not, we'll find something else. All of these people just ran this red light. That is kind of crazy. Wow, we're right next to the Mission San Juan Capistrano. Yes. Oh wow, it costs money to go there. I didn't know that. I went there when I was a kid. Wait. No, I want the barbecue. It does not look busy there right now. So hopefully they have food. This was recommended to me by a co-worker as well as the Viet newspaper. It is spicy out today though. I like, wore double long so I don't think I need it. Yeah, it's very hot. But look over there. The it's sky is there. all rainy and gray, but over here the sun is shining. Heritage Barbecue. Yeah, it's not looking busy, so I hope they still have food. Why do swallows never play poker in the jungle? <laughs> Too many cheetahs. Hmm. I hope they still have some stuff in here. I don't know. I mean, there's no lions, so that's nice. Hello. Can we get a uh, quarter pound brisket? Quarter pound of brisket, please. May we also get a quarter pound of tri tip? Meat. That's and a thing. Quarter pound brisket, quarter pound tri tip. And then yeah. can we get a quarter pound of the char siu pork belly? Tri tip too or no? Yeah, tri tip. Brisket, tri tip, and, and belly. toss you. Quarter pound on all three? How many pork ribs are you? would you say is in like a quarter pound? In a quarter pound, one bone. You they're about one. a quarter pound of bone. Okay, we can get two one. bones. And then can we get one? one? Those are $7 each. They're about this big. Yes, sure. yes please. So they cut all of it and weigh it right here. Oh, they're gonna show it to us. Oh! oh. All right, why? Nice. That looks juicy. And then he's gonna weigh every meat out. Tri tip is next. And I give you complimentary pickled items and sauces. Oh, thank, thank you. I charge thank you, you the so weights much. though. Look, there's a tri tip if you want to check it out too. Wow. Yeah, so they weigh everything out. That's everything really cool. Is, yeah, it's like a meat deli technically. Oh, we're doing everything. <laughs> yeah, we hear really good reviews about this place. Yeah. We saw it in a in a Vietnamese newspaper yeah. too. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. We just got our fourth Michelin Big one last week on Thursday. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, That's funny. Yeah. All right, so we got our food. This is the char siu pork belly. I think this was brisket, he said. Mm -hmm. This is tri-tip, this is the sausage, and then we got two ribs, which are a quarter pound each. So everybody here is so nice. They gave us free pickled items. They give you extra sauce on the side. So it looks like this is like a honey mustard sauce. And then they also gave us barbecue sauce, honey mustard, barbecue sauce. And uh, there's a lot of meats here. Yeah, it looks really good. They also give these plates and utensils. Okay, and there wasn't a line right now at Friday at 4 o'clock. Yeah, and they still have plenty of food. So, I mean, a weekday in the evening may be the time to go. I looked at their Yelp reviews and people say like they wait. Like they said the line goes by fast on um, weekend mornings, but they still end up waiting like a good like hour. So, yeah, they were showing us the meat though, like as they were cutting it. They cut it fresh, like as you order. So your food comes out really fast too. And everything looks so juicy. Mm -hmm. What are you going to try first? I see the rib. So this is going to be the pork rib. This is about a quarter pound ah, nice. rib. They put more sauce on it too um, after he cut it. Go ahead, give it a try. Mmm. This is so good. It's nice and tender. It's juicy. And juicy. Yep. And sweet. It's like sweet. It's really good. This doesn't count as fall off the bone, right? Because it's not falling off the bone. But like, I'm good with this texture. The meat isn't like super soft, but it's not tough. No, it's not too chewy at all. The flavor is really good too. This thing is bomb, so bomb. I'm really curious about this tree. Did they build the table around the tree? Huh? Or did they plant the tree after? It's really good. I think if you walk more after we eat, and you walk on the other side of the building, you can see the smoking. I would say so far, like this is the best barbecue rib I've had in a really long time. I need to go to Texas. People say that this place 
People say that this place has the best Texas mm. barbecue in California. Have you ever had Phil's in San Diego? No. I had it when I was a kid, I don't remember it. I would say the meat is a little hard to pull off the bone though. Like if you're physically trying to pull it, it's a little hard. To try dipping it in this barbecue though, it's really good. The barbecue sauce is really good. This is really good. Also, this is the first meal I've eaten today, so I'm really hungry. This is definitely a hand, hands-on activity though. We should try sides next time. Apparently the mac and cheese and the corn is really good, but I don't think we could have eaten all that. Heck no. It doesn't look like there's much to do around here in San Juan Capistrano though. It looks very like historical. Mm -hmm. There is the mission and I've been there when I was a little kid. I've also been there, I think. Pretty sure I have. I meant business. This is really good. Let's try the pickled, I think it's like a pickled pepper. Oh. Oh, spicy. I already tried the pickle. The pickle is good. Okay, good thing we ordered a, a quarter pound of each item. Because if we would have went half pound of any item, it would have been way Wait. too much. Yeah, when we got here, there was nobody in line. So we were the first ones in line, but we didn't know what to get. But then there were like four people, yeah, that piled up right behind us. I really want to try this mustard because I'm newly into mustard, but I don't think I want to try it with this. So this is, this is what, brisket? Beef brisket. I believe beef brisket. It's very juicy. Not too fatty, which I'm glad. All right, I'm gonna try it with no sauce first. No sauce. Mm. Mm. Good amount of fat, like not super fatty. The meat is tender, flavor is good. I'm gonna try it with mustard. Let's try it. I like honey mustard usually. Mm. Mm. I like mustard. It's good. The brisket, the flavor was very good. It was like smoky. And I don't think I've ever had anything like that before. It's kind of crazy. But it's like such a good smoky. It's not like super like just smoke. And it was smooth. Like eating it was such a good experience. It's tender. Yeah, very good. Can I try the pork belly now? I'm down. The pork belly looks really good. Try holding it up so I can squeeze it. It's starting to rain. Oh no. There's the pork belly. So here's the char siu pork belly. It's a little too fatty for my liking. I don't really like fat, but the flavor is very really good. It's like accurate. It tastes like chow siu. The pork, yeah, the flavor is really good. It's very fatty. It's almost like it melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. But the flavor, it tastes like chow siu, like Chinese chow siu. Yeah, there's no crunch or crisp coming through. We just finished the meal. <laughs> just kidding. It started raining, but look at it. It's so sunny on that side. But on this side, it's starting to pour on us. So we're packing it up. We're going to head back to the vehicle right now. It might be because it's raining or it might be because it's a Friday afternoon and everybody's still at work. But we walked up here and there was no line. But it's, on the, it's still not that busy. It really or, isn't. It, it's getting a little bit busier. There's like a couple families here now. Yeah, but they said that, well, reviews say that around the weekends, they have to come before opening and they wait in line even for like an hour still. But we didn't wait at all. It is starting to pour really, really bad in here. Holy crap. It's a double rainbow. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, it is, yeah. Oh my rainbow God. one, rainbow two. We're seeing the end of a rainbow. Where's my cell phone? Well, if you go to the end of the rainbow, you can, might find a pot of gold. What happened? You can you pick up the napkins? <laughs> Spilling all the napkins over here. But look at these, Indian jewelry. But yeah, it started to pour really, really bad. Well, I guess it's not really pouring, but it's just raining. I just can't believe I'm seeing a double rainbow, dude. I'm amazed. Wow, a double rainbow right in front of your eyes on March 15th. Beware the Ides of March. Olivia said that that means someone gets stabbed. Yeah, this has something to do with like Julius Caesar. Did Julius Caesar yeah, die today? Julius Caesar got stabbed today. He got backstabbed by his homie. Can't Probably believe it. Stabbed gotta say is they do not prioritize their pedestrians up in this city because every light turned green before we got to cross what is a rainbow i think it's just the reflection of the water in the floor let's go oh. what's the weather report it's already raining i got wet all right so we're back in the vehicle now as you can see we got hit by a storm but it's sunny outside that was kind of crazy damn my phone id can't even recognize me we are back but we saw the end of a double rainbow the double rain was pretty cool and today's march 15th so beware the ides of march shout out to julius caesar who owns the caesar's palace in las vegas by the way no it's just his home 
It's his home. Oh, it's duh. Just his it's his palace. I also dropped. Well, I didn't drop all the napkins, but all of them got wet. But we got car napkins. Don't fret. Or the last thing we tried was the char siu pork belly. Mm -hmm. Again, that thing was too fatty. It was good. The flavor was there. I think with rice, it'd be really good. With rice? Yeah. Or with mac and cheese? That's like a stomach ache. Yeah, all we have left to try, though, is the tri-tip and the sausage. But we still have extra meat. But here's my tri-tip. has really good color. It's not, like, dark. Mmm. Okay. I like the, the flavor of this a lot. Me too. I would say it's a little, like, more dry than the brisket. It's more uh, like a steak, you know? It's more meaty. Yeah, meaty like a steak. It's not as fatty, which I like. I would say it's only like a little more dry though because we didn't eat it fresh. It's been like 10 minutes since we got our food. And then we also walked in the rain. And I feel like it stopped raining because your windshield's not getting wet anymore. Yeah, the flavor is there. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It's also smoky and very meaty. They also have five hour parking here for free. So if you come here, don't get scammed by the paying lot. Mm -hmm. It's five hour street parking from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Got the hot link. I think it was called like Texas hot link. I like it. It's snappy, mm -hmm. crispy. The flavor, it's not spicy at all. You really taste the pork though. It's very meaty. It's really good with mustard. Have you seen that girl on TikTok? Apple sausage with mustard. And it's like sounds super snappy when she eats. Yeah, I don't know how to describe how it tastes. It's not spicy. If you want it to eat, be spicy, eat it with one of the pickled peppers. It's really good, but it's not spicy. Yeah, so it definitely looked like it stopped raining now, <gasps> which is kind of lame. But after we're done eating here, we're going to continue our adventure around the city. There's also gelato right here, so we're mm -hmm. going to get gelato. This would be really good in a sandwich, and they sell sandwiches there. So if you get a sandwich, you should get it with tri-tip. I really like barbecue. I think we should go to Texas. Is this gelato place though? Is this the Missions Cafe? It's just cafe at the Mission. I know, like, is this like their food place? It might be. <laughs> did everyone watch the Eras tour movie? What did you think of it? 10 out of 10. I fell asleep through most of the Eras. Mm -hmm. You saw like none of Evermore. I think you fell asleep during Fearless. Let me know what your favorite era is down in the comments. I think my favorite album is either gonna be Folklore or I really like Midnight's. Here, like it's it was about $18 a pound. The ribs were $21 a pound. Wow. And two ribs were half pound. Mm -hmm. I would say the ribs, I would give them a 10 out of 10. The tri-tip, I would give an 8 out of 10. The brisket, I would give a 9 out of 10. The hot link, I'd give an 8 out of 10. And the char siu pork belly, I'm going to give that one a 6.5 out of 10. I agree with all those, but I'd probably bump up char siu to like 8 out of 10. Really? Mm -hmm. You didn't really like it that much though. I just didn't like the fat, but that's not their fault. Pig was just too fat. I think the way it's cooked and because like the meat itself was also like melt in your mouth. So like the way it's cooked and the flavor, it, it was really good. But yeah, this pig was a fat pig. He's a piece of lard. I mean, look at him. You could see the pieces of the stripes of meat through it. He's majority fat. I have to say though, this mustard and the barbecue sauce really elevates the flavors like it's really good with mustard champagne problems he thought champagne problems is about alcoholism well the song is called champagne problems i would say though if you do come here honestly try and come we're here on a friday afternoon try and come on like a friday afternoon because on the weekends everyone says you have to get here like right at opening mm -hmm. barbecue at 11 a.m well, they say by the time you get up to the line, you'll probably be there at... What about the person that's first in line? <gasps> they probably woke up really early then. Just saying, barbecue at 11 a.m.? Yeah, that's kind of outrageous. I think I'd vomit. This is really filling, though. For two people, this was a good amount of food. But, like we said, we didn't get any sides. And a lot of people like the sides here. I don't think I would have been able to eat, finish the sides. Overall, what would you rate Heritage? I'd give them a good... Today? I'd give them a good 9 out of 10. I haven't seen this place with the weight yet, though. I saw their Yelp page. The weight, it goes like down the entire street. People say you have to park blocks away. I don't know how to explain it, but this car from the front looks like Jason Kelsey. I need you to see it from the front. Toyota FJ Cruiser? Yeah. The brisket's really good with barbecue sauce on it. I really like the brisket, though. I like brisket a lot. Whenever I see it in videos, I'm always like, 
That looks so good. So we asked for a quarter pound of everything and they gave us about 0.33 pounds of everything. So in total with five meats, four meats was 0.33 pounds, so that's 1.2 pounds. And then we got the ribs with half pounds, so that's 1.7 pounds of meat. So you're getting like a whole pound of meat right now? Mm-hmm. Have you seen that lady who is a carnivore and all she eats is like raw meat, cooked meat, and like butter? No. <laughs> and she has a whole raw steak and she'll take a bite out of it and then she'll take a bite out of a stick of butter. Oh, I think I've seen a little bit of her. I think she's Asian. I give Heritage a 9 out of 10. But yeah, I give them a 9 out of 10. It's pretty freaking good. I like barbecue. Comparing it to the last place we had barbecue, which was that place Craft or whatever, where we had the the pulled pork nachos, mm -hmm. this is so much better, like flavor-wise. I feel like a lot of barbecue places just enhance that they're smoky and then it just tastes like smoke and then it doesn't taste good. But this actually has a lot of flavor. Also, the people there are really nice. Like, I didn't feel rushed at all when ordering. He talked to us while we were ordering, helped us order. <laughs> Let me know if you guys have tried Heritage Barbecue in the comments. Let me know what your favorite type of barbecue is. Let me know anything about barbecue. Let me know a fun fact about barbecue. What's a fun fact about barbecue? I don't know, but I'll find one and I'll leave one up in the comments. Not in the comments. At the top of the screen right here. We just saw two gentlemen axe right in front of us. One guy, the girl was walking on the side with the, like, of the street with the cars. And he like moved her out of the way, like very dramatically. And then we just saw this guy put his girlfriend in the car. Well, no, I think you have to put something away in the back seat. Yeah, that too, but cue Taylor Swift. In the world of boys, he's a gentleman. You know what song that is? Can you tell me what album it's Slide. <laughs> really full. Damn. This is a lot of food. This is a lot of food. I'm also getting very full. <laughs> I can't eat the pork belly. Also, I don't know if they always give you the pickle stuff for free or if you just did it because we were filming. But if they don't, you should get it if you like pickles. I wonder what's in the sausage. I don't know if y'all can see that. There's like little mm -hmm. spots. It looks like mustard seeds. I'm full. Full as heck. Would you take your friends and family to this place? I want to bring my family here. I would definitely bring my friends and family here. And I put you guys on. Let me know if you guys come here, okay? Pretty good. Come check it out. It's pretty good. Here's a fun fact. The UK has 150 million barbecues a year. Well, that's a stupid ass fact because two facts down, it's the US has more barbecues than any other country. Wait, what? Yeah, number five, the UK has 150 million barbecues a year. Number but seven. the US has more? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not even trolling. Here. Number five. Number seven. You can ask them, like, if you want a fattier piece of meat, you can ask them for more fat. And then probably if you want leaner, you can also ask them for leaner. Yep. Shout out to Bill and Lisa, because they posted a video on this. We watched it. And shout out to the Viet newspaper. And shout out to my coworker. Would I say it was worth a $30 meal per person? I would rather get this versus an, like, an all-you-can-eat barbecue, Korean barbecue. Oh, I agree with you for like 100%. sure. 100%. Like, we also went to the Bacchanal back in December. I would rather get this than the oh, Bacchanal. Oh, yeah. That was, like, what, $80 a person? 85 a person. I would say it's definitely worth it because if you were to make this at home, it... It would take you all day. Yeah. The cuts of meat would be expensive. And you could you probably mess it up. Unless you're, you're freaking Gordon Ramsay. You probably think won't... think Gordon Ramsay can make barbecue like this? Shoot, I don't know. That man makes a mean beef wellington, but barbecue? I don't know. You have to, you have to be a chef, though, to, to cook it up like that. Like, their smokers are giant. I think, I think that's the thing. I saw a video about this place. I think they're the only place in California that has smokers outside like that. Or they were talking about some type of smoke technology that they do, and they only have it here. But next up, we're probably going to go inside Cafe at the Mission right here. Because they, they said they got gelato. Yep, the Hi. double rainbow in the sky is gone. So we walked up to the door, and they were closed. So we're going to walk around and see if we can find some ice cream in the area. Trudy? <laughs> Trudy Monk. No, I think it sounds like Rudy. It's kind of crazy that they just have like cacti out here. Like what if somebody gets pushed into something? Sounds like a San Juan Capistrano lawsuit. We have been watching Monk. We're almost done with it. We're on season seven. I hope everybody's having a good Friday. 
leave a like on this video if you're enjoying it. There is a line right now. We're gonna walk by Heritage Barbecue again. But the line's not bad. It's about, I would say. Like five parties. 15 like, minute line. Yeah, I think like, the line takes a little bit of a while though because they're cutting the meat as they take your order and the guy writes down like the weight of it and stuff. And they talk to you a lot. Here is where we ordered. But yeah, these are the smokers. They're really big. The workers are just chilling over there. But this is at the end of, I would say, Main Street of San Juan, Capistrano. Yeah. Is that We're a store down. named fucking bread? Yeah, it's fucking bread. That's interesting. Let's go check it out. Okay. We got this Native American guy here holding cigars. Look at they're salt and pepper shakers. And they're all kissing. <laughs> they're boobing. <laughs> the fish one, the koi fish is beautiful. Or the goldfish, I guess. Look at the little birds underneath. So cute. <gasps> Look at these charms. Is, like, um, is it for a charm brace? Yeah, they're pocket charms. What is this? Worry doll box? Tell your worries to the dolls. Place them under your pillow and the next morning the worry people have taken your worries. Oh, so they wanted me to cry today. That's so cute. This is Native American jewelry. I really like the style of jewelry. It's beautiful. I like this one. Yeah. That one's pretty sick right there. Looks like Astro Bot. What uh, tribe do you think this belonged to? What the? Uh, it's a weapon. Look at the pottery. Beautiful. Look, these paintings are kind of crazy. Look at this chicken. I like the chicken a lot. He's really cute. Wow. Did they use these back in the day too? Huh? No. And the spirit animals too in the case. Thank 50 you. 50% off. And the pottery, the drums, the rugs. The pictures and the artifacts, which are things you can smoke or hurt, those are 40%. Thank you. We should get one of these. These are pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. They just leave these out in the open. So they also have stuff that you can smoke out of. This lady is helping him can a murder. Dude, I wish fucking bread was open. Huh? What the fuck? <gasps> ooh, ooh, there's a bee on you. It's well, on your shirt. It's on your shirt. Ew. I saw it fly out of your ear. Just hit it off. Okay. Did I get it? I don't. I guess unless he's in your sweater. Oh, he's on, oh, sweater. He's on your sweater. This bee really. No, he's wants. fine. That guy tried to attack you. Yeah, he flew into my ear. Like what the fuck? That was crazy. Dude, did you hurt him? Dude, what? He ran into me. He can't walk now. But his stinger's still attached, so he didn't sting me. Look at—he can't walk. You broke his right front arm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, dude, you messed this guy up. Look at—he fell into the abyss now. <laughs> How do you feel about yourself now? You he ran him into up. me. So I was trying to get a video of fucking bread. Fucking bread before I was viciously attacked by that <laughs> bee. You didn't even get stung. That was kind of crazy. How are you viciously attacked him? You didn't even get stung. He was all up on me. That's the most vicious attack a bee can do is sting you. <laughs> all he did was touch you. You imagine if you got stung in your ear though. I know. So we're still on the lookout for some dessert, maybe like some gelato, some ice cream. A lot of stuff is closed though. They closed early over here. And it's only five. There's ooh. a, ooh, what, let's go down this way. I think we're in like the downtown area. Yeah. You didn't look at the map at all? I did not look at the map. Neither did I. <laughs> we're just out here enjoying the day. They have a bakery shop. Oh, gelato. Ooh, okay. Target acquired. So we're coming up on this place called Gelato Frozen Yogurt. No, wait, no, no, it's called 316, 316 bakery, shop. bakery Shop. They have 10 flavors of frozen yogurt to choose from, 20 flavors of gelato. They have gluten-free and dairy-free options. They have a full coffee bar with specialty drinks and a bakery. All right, I'm down to try this place. Are you? Yeah, it looks really good. And so are they. Oh. Get a gelato cup. These are the flavors in here. 
I'm allergic to a lot of these flavors. Burgundy cherry. Creme brulee, cookies and cream. Raspberry. Look, they got yogurt land up in here. These are all of their gelato and sorbet options. What are you gonna get? I think I might get chocolate covered banana or uh, burgundy cherry, depending how many flavors you get in one Well, that's small a small, cup. so yes. I feel like you can only get one flavor. Do I look like a super villain? Like, um, in Spongebob when Gary is like a librarian, I feel like I look like that right now. Spongebob. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen <gasps> Spongebob? Okay, no worries. How many flavors can I get in this small size? One. One flavor? Okay, can I get the uh, the burgundy cherry, please? Mm -hmm. Burgundy cherry, right? Yeah. So, we got the gelato. We got a lot of xanthan gum in here, it feels like. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of it? Very good. This is a movie theater. They're showing Dune, Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, there was only like two employees in that store. But like, that guy was putting in work. The other lady wasn't doing anything. She was just walking around. Thank you. Mm. It's good. It just tastes like ice cream. It literally tastes like the ice cream again. It tastes just like thrifties. What do you think of it? It was very refreshing and creamy. Very sweet. Very good. This place is a good 8.5 out of 10. Really? Mm-hmm. I guess this was the end of the downtown area. <laughs> Very quiet town. A lot, a lot of restaurants. Of, yeah, restaurants and bars over here. Yeah, a lot of alcohol. The lighting is so bad right now. Is that Willy Wonka? So listen up, settle down. He looks so weird in this poster. He does. Why are you making a stink face? I must say though, the lineup. Oh wait, the lineup for this movie went kind of crazy. Timothée, Zendaya, Austin Butler, Florence Pugh, Dave Bautista. I don't know any of the other people, but that was a pretty good lineup. We fell asleep during the first Dune though, um, so maybe we'll wait until it's online to watch it. I want to see Arthur the King. <gasps> With Mark Wahlberg. Mark, shout out to Mark Wahlberg. This guy's been acting since I was born. I don't think there's very much more down there, love. Historic Town Center. More, more shops and dine. There's a lot of resorts over here too, like spas. Franciscan Garden. Someone live here or something? We don't really know where we're going. It says that there's more shops and dining over here. It's okay, because it's a Friday night and we don't have anything planned to do today. No. So we're just hanging out, exploring San Juan Capistrano. Wait, maybe we'd move here one day. Probably not. No, this no place, I'm okay. This place looks kind of ghetto. Here is the Domingo Yorba Adobe. This was made in 1830 and this structure is typical of San Juan Capistrano adobes of this period. Thick walls and a wood shingle roof. There's somebody in there. <laughs> so these buildings have been here since the 1800s. Nice architecture. Very old school, very classic. This is the El Adobe de Capistrano restaurant. I just found out how to spell restaurant the other day. Huh? That used to be a word I struggled with spelling, but I figured it out. Okay, so Katie was right. We come up across a US bank and a Remax. So we've definitely hit back to civilization. There's probably nothing cool down there. Doesn't that place look like where Doc Hudson lives in Cardland? Yeah, but I wonder what this oh, wait. is. Wait, I don't even know how to use this camera, dude. So let's go ahead and push the button for the, for the pedestrian warning lights. You're that kind of person. Oh. Shout out to this lady here. She's letting us cross. Mission commercial property. So this looks like it used to be a park here on the right. Yeah, I think there was a sign that said this was like a historic park. Let's go this way. So that place is called the Esslinger Building. Made back in 1939. There's people inside that building right now. It looks like they have a pool. So yeah, this is the Esslinger Building. Constructed in 1939 by Dr. Paul Esslinger. It's a medical building. Oh, based of Argentina. It doesn't look like a medical building though. Really? I thought it kind of looked like a medical building. They have a lot of artwork in there. 
Looks like they got offices, that's it. This person has bird feathers in the front of their car. And half the <gasps> car is falling off. What happened to them? So this is the park up here. Is that a tweaker or is that a, that's just oh, a kid? It's a kid, it's a kid. They definitely need to pick up the trash over here. But look at that view over there, guys. You guys see the mountains? Look at those porta potties. I know, somebody dumped Planned all their trash. Planned Parenthood. What the frick? There's a whole ass book. I'm not trying to walk through this park, you think? There's a lot of uh, people unhoused here in this park. So this is a parking lot next to where we parked, but they charge $2 an hour here, which is scam. So that was pretty much it of San Juan Capistrano. Doesn't seem like there's much to do over here. Other than that, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I kind of both want to get one. So they have these? Yeah, I'm going to get one. This one's heavy as hell. Really? Yeah. I just chose... They have a one-piece one. This one's, I think it's Mr. Hanky. Why? Because it's shaped? No, but it's just so light. I want Kenny. Feel how light that is. Oh, hell yeah. That's Mr. Hanky. You don't want that one. Look at this one, though. They're ugly. <laughs> I said uh, that that was the end of the video back in San Juan, but we're at Target right now. Sorry, y'all. We got some unboxings to do in the car after this. We are back, y'all. Same day. We're gonna open up these South Park mystery boxes plush danglers. These are the ones that you could get. I want butters. I want Kenny and butters. So we saw these at Target just now. These are the first time I've ever seen these before. First time I've ever seen any type of South Park. And they come in a black bag. I won't look until your is open. I know who I, wait, no, I don't know who I got. <laughs> Did I get Stan? Oh, I got Kyle! Okay, I'm not mad about it. Kyle's a cutie. <gasps> you got Butters! Now make them kiss. Butters might might go that way, actually. He's bi-curious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Kyle's my second favorite. Okay, Bo Butters was the one I wanted to get. <laughs> I want a Kenny. Yeah. I thought it was Kenny, but it's okay. I'm going to call Fellas, fellas. Okay, I also picked up one of these Sanrio Hello Kitty and Friends Series 5. This is the front of the package. Here's the back. There's all the ones you can get. There are our two secrets. Exclusive A and exclusive B. Exclusive A looks like a Kiromi and exclusive B looks like a Kuropi. Who do you want to get? I don't deal with any of them. That's why I bought it. <laughs> but I think I got one of the dogs, I'm hoping. I actually really don't want a Hello Kitty. Okay, okay. I don't think I'm going to keep... Oh! I got the secret! What? I got the Kirby secret! <laughs> Is he Kirby. an ice cream man? Yeah, he's eating a little sundae. Yeah, I got the secret. Yeah, you did get the secret. I got secret. exclusive V. Wow, nice. All right, now make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Next star. I run this bitch like a track star. Whipping the H like a Jaguar. Foot on the gas and we going far. Oh, damn. It's Big Steven and Hoops. Round round in that two door coupe. Scalper alert, scalper oh, alert. No, I left more. I didn't... There's, he's getting four Hello Kitty bowls and leaving four. Leaving three. Scalper alert.